Most Amazon sellers spend hours scanning through thousands of products, but the secret is starting with the data. In today's video, I'm going to walk you through how I use Keepa to quickly uncover products with real profit potential. Let's jump into my screen. Here on the Bath & Body Works website, and we've got a ton of sales going on this weekend. I'm going to do a little bit of sourcing, and I also might have an extra 15% on top of some of these sales. Uh, let's let's just apply that it says it's good for another hour but I know that's just good marketing on their end and uh, I guarantee you it's good for longer than that but uh, let's take a look here up uh, right off the bat 295 hand and bar soaps that's definitely going to be one worth looking at keep a product finder is the best way to source products if you know how to use it click into the product finder here first thing I want to do is I want to limit our brand to Bath and Body Works. So let's type in Bath and Body Works. That's got 28,000 products. Obviously, we do not want to go through that many. But on a something like this, where I'm only looking at specific products within a brand, something I can do here is like, for example, we're looking at hand soaps here. So what I can do here is in the text field, I'm just going to put soap. And that's going to take us down to 6,600 products. So instantly got rid of the majority of what we were looking at. And from here, we can put in a couple filters and get that down to a manageable list, right? So let's do a, a minimum buy box. We're getting these for 295. So I'm thinking we probably need to be bundling these products up. So at least a two-pack, if we're at a $6 buy cost, a two-pack selling on Amazon is probably going to need to be $15 or better to be profitable. So let's put in a buy box minimum of 15 That's going to take out a couple thousand products. Let's do a rank maximum. We are in the beauty category here, probably. So I'm going to do 150000 Beauty is a really big category. 150 k is not that high in beauty and we can see we got our filters down to 162 products which is super manageable um, so let's click let's see what our list looks like we may come back in and tweak our filters just a little bit but right off the bat we've got a 16 dollars buy box here on a two pack that may just be a first winner here Let, let's see uh, good sales velocity amazon's telling us that 50 plus have been bought in the past month um, let's see if we can find this product. I'm just going to Google it and hope that the Bath & Body Works links shows up. It looks like it does. Let's click on this one right here. We've got them on sale, $2.95. The flannel is the scent here. Now, it's something to note, and this happens a lot in across multiple industries, actually, is manufacturers will go through packaging changes. Now, in my experience, that's okay. So as long as the product is the same and the size is the same and if it has ingredients, if the ingredients are the same and the only thing that has changed is the outside packaging, I do not have a problem selling those products on Amazon, even if the packaging is different. Um, so like, for example, this looks like it went through a packaging change. It's definitely the same scent. Nothing else has changed except the outside of the, the package. I would have no problem selling this on this listing. Now that's my personal choice. You don't have to be that way, but that's how I am. So uh, $2.95 here in a two pack. Uh, we're looking at uh, not good profit right off the bat, but I remember we had that extra 15% code. So I'm just gonna see if that would apply to this. So let's add 20 to our cart, which would basically be 10 units. Um, and it looks like it is giving us that extra 15%. I do have some extra coupons here in Cooper, but uh, it looks like we're paying for shipping right now, but that's okay. We can definitely get past the shipping threshold, which I, I think might be 75 bucks or maybe a hundred. Uh, so let's do a 15% discount. So times 0.85 here, uh, still only making a buck. So I guess I was a little bit wrong in my initial sale price calculation so we may have to go back and tweak that uh, this was a lot more profitable historically but we can see our offer counts kind of rising a little bit there 
not a big deal. Let's come back in and let's change this buy box uh, to 18 and see if we can make something work there. If we can find a two pack at 18, it's definitely going to be a winner, right? So here we go. We got our first one here and this is almost 19 bucks. So assuming we can find these in stock uh, at that 295, it looks like I've looked at this before actually. 295 times two, buy cost before was seven. So we're definitely cheaper this time and we're stacking that 15%. Now we're looking at a $3 profit, 64% ROI. That's a lot better. That's the stuff we're looking for. So let's click the Google button here and see if we can find that particular one. Looks like we got it right here. Not a big deal. Looks like the packaging hasn't even changed on this one. Kitchen Mandarin, Kitchen Mandarin. Uh, $5 two cent buy cost with our 15% code at a $19 sale price. $3 profit, 64% ROI. Let's take a look at Keep Chart. Keep Chart looks incredibly good, right? Really happy. Not a ton of offer count movement, but it is getting a little bit better back out to the year and we can see we're actually yearly at least we're trending down a little bit in our offer count so no really big spikes here we're actually kind of trending down uh, and there are times where this product becomes extremely profitable so we we're probably maxing out here at uh, 25 bucks FBA I don't know if you can see that but uh, 24.94 here FBA at one point so um, definitely some potential to go a lot higher than it actually is but Super profitable right now has been for the last 90 days or so, uh, even probably more than that. It's really been profitable since about March when this price jumped up a little bit. But um, really nice, easy winter product, super easy to prep. Uh, let's just double check, verify our sales here in our offers tab on Keepa. Yeah, good selling product. We've got multiple FBA sellers here with stocks really moving down pretty quickly actually and we've got multiple restocks here that's something i always like to look for on these products is we want to see products that people have bought and then buy again right that lets us know that they sold successfully the first time and now they're buying more so really good easy first winner right here uh just a second product on our list of uh over a hundred so if you know how to use keep a product finder it is very very powerful uh, another two pack here at the 20 dollar mark if we can find those, those will be profitable. Uh, 18 and change here for the Kitchen Lemon. We can find that one. 100 plus ball. Amazon's giving us some good data right off the bat here. Uh, 295 in a two pack. Stacking that 15% on top. Uh, not quite as good of a profit. Uh, just under $3. 56% ROI is pretty nice though. Um, let's see what the keeps chart looks like. Another really good stable product. Price history has been very stable. Offer counts coming and going. Really good, happy keep a chart. All right, so let's see if we can find this kitchen lemon here. I'm pretty sure we will. Um, kitchen lemon. So it looks like we might have went through a little bit of a package change here. Again, that, that's not something I would worry about. But we've got it in stock. Add 22 back, get that discount. 283 profit, just slightly under where I like to be personally. I like to shoot for a minimum of $3.30. But there are tons of people that are okay with less than that, especially on a product like this that has good volume. Amazon's telling us 100 plus have been bought this month. We can take a peek at the offers here in Keepa just to verify that. And yeah, definitely 100 plus a month here. We've got multiple, multiple FBA sellers going through 40 to 50 units in just a couple of weeks. So uh, really good sales velocity here. Even if it's under that $3 mark, this may be something that's worthwhile looking at for some sellers. Uh, some sellers prefer volume over profit, and that's totally fine. It's also got an Amazon's Choice badge, so we, we know we're going to continue to get sales on a product like this. Easy prep, slap these in a poly bag, put a do not separate sticker on it, call it a day. 56% ROI is worth noting. That's really good ROI on an easy prep product. So even if the profit's not quite there, 
depending on what kind of what kind of numbers you want to look at if you prefer volume over profit this is a really good product there's nothing wrong with this at all hopefully this gave you some new ideas for sourcing if you're still having some trouble download our free sourcing checklist it's an eight step checklist to show you how to qualify leads for Amazon online arbitrage or if you want to shortcut the entire process and see every single lead we find daily at flip finder network check out flip finder network full access i'll put the link in the description below and we'll see you on the next one